And good kitten internet. Today is the 4th. Uh, it is both Easter Sunday and American Independence Day, because obviously this is April and totally not July. Also, I believe the moon is at three quarters. I looked at the calendar earlier. Anyway, getting back to some Wild Arms 2. And by some Wild Arms 2, I mean I'm intending on beating the game. Because I'm pretty sure we're at the end of the game. And I'm not pretty sure. I know that we're at the end of the game. It's more that I don't think there's any content left. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used these controls, so expect some weirdness. Like, for instance, I can't remember exactly where the final area is. I want to say it's over here. Yeah. Need to find the landing spot way down here. Yep. Okay. So, how's it be going? I know it's been a long time since I've recorded one of these, and I'm sorry. Oh, um... What am I doing on Tim's thing? That's the one thing I wasn't sure if I was maxed out on. I am, okay. And I haven't, I meant to actually watch the previous video right before starting this and then got distracted by other things, as I do. There's, there's a lot of random encounters. My objective. The spiral tower. By the way, the spiral tower is supposed to be Kadingel, I think. I think this is supposed to be this game's version of Kadingel. Um, there actually is a Kadingel in Wild Arms 3, by the way. So, just fun fact. Also, I seem to have fixed all of my audio recording issues ever since I had to... Already forgotten all of these annoying puzzles. Really? treasure chest there? That is a treasure chest there. How dare I miss a treasure chest? I'm gonna have to remedy this. Not like I can't just obtain as many of those as I want at this point. So, let's just do a double check really fast. Booty call. Okay, we're fine. So, um, where have I been for a recording game? I meant to cancel out of that and didn't. Where have I been when it comes to recording games? Well, I promised that I would be using these goobers. Um, well, part of it is that I ran into a problem. I had broken my microphone. And this is, I'm actually talking my replacement microphone, even though I've had my first microphone repaired at this point. Just because this one actually works perfectly fine for games, the other one works way better for role-playing because it's a circumaural microphone where it will record all the way around. This microphone, this one right here, only records directly in front of me. It is a cardioid-based microphone. So it's useful for a podcast type of thing where I'm speaking to a screen and less useful for like multiple people talking. So this is perfectly fine for my recording, at least for now until I start recording videos with my partner present, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Oops, if I actually do things. So. I remember nothing about any of these enemies, by the way. Baylors. I'm going to Google. Sorry, it's been too long. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hopefully my keyboard isn't too loud. Oh yeah, and um, my secondary monitor is no longer up here. It's actually down here. So you'll see my head turn when I'm looking at other things now. Sorry about that. 
it's still into the good enough range. I want to say this is weak against dark. Interesting. Okay. Again. Why don't you have something to Mystic that does dark damage? I like a dark ring. There. Gat! Drive cut! Black gear. Oh yeah, I forgot that I am ludicrously overpowered. Never mind. Um, what do I even have equipped? I don't even have guardians equipped on them. Alright, so you need Captina. Probably should have Zephyr, I think. So Justine's actually faster. You don't need magic for anything, so yep, Justine it is. Weird combination of abilities, but sure, why not? Now... Okay. I'm sure everything's already open, because I've already gone through this. So, um, what else? Um, I needed to take a break, badly. Just going through and playing Wild Arms 2 so much and going through and analyzing and repeat analyzing and so on and so forth, it just got a little too much. That's the reason why I'm just going ahead and beating the game now rather than trying to analyze it further because I burnt myself out and I don't want to do that again. Um, but that's not the full story. The full story is that I started having some major issues with my computer. And it turns out that the issues were because I had power saving modes enabled to the point where my computer was running at about 50% of its graphics power. I didn't realize this for almost two years of having, it's actually two years at this point. It'll be a year and a half by the time that I started figuring this out. Let's see how overpowered my computer is actually. Um, what else do I have? It was mostly just me not wanting to play any JRPGs. I've, not, I've been in the mood more for playing roguelikes as of late, so there's been a lot of Hades being played, or Rogue Legacy 2, which is in early access. Just, you know, games like that. Mind me. I'm trying to remember how to get through this place. I'm pretty sure I need to go this way and further down because I'm pretty sure I've already gone up about. Nope. Seriously, something I have to trigger every time? Because if not, then I might have accidentally overwrote my save and that would be bad. I don't quite understand the darkness loop around here, given that, you know, there's only one thing there. Okay. If that's the final roll knife in this. That one's not it. Hi, Rod. Hi, up. I only have eight cardinal directions. That's not going to work very well, unless it fits just like this. Yeah, I'm too low now. Here. Back up here. Concerned that I might have loaded old save, and that would be bad. Oh wait, no, you're a flare gun, aren't you? Wow. 
this cloak, yeah. Yep, that's what it was. Hmm, does that mean that I haven't gone through any further? I'm pretty sure I have, because I've gotten stuff. In exclamation. I know I've been here before. Of course, it has been six months since I've done this, so, you know. That's what it is. I'm not going to be able to get these put together. No, I can. Yeah, it's like this. And back up here. Fall off. I don't like mist cloak puzzles. There. Further down, the spiral tower. Uh, it seems currently asleep, by the way. That's the reason why I didn't bother with kitty cam. So is this just a player time to make everything lit here? It is. That must have been the room that I gained the player gun in. All right, what do I need to do? Nothing, except I've already been here. And there's no loot here either. Wait. So I guess, yeah, it's just the flare gun room resets its own state after you leave. Interesting, but okay. Um, so let's see. No loot. I really don't remember having to flare gun these from the last time I played. So it's making me wonder if I just did this without any. Okay, I do actually need to do this, which meant that I should have paid attention to that room. Ah, if only I can roll the tape. Shadow desires its master's form, proof that they are a pair. What? Wild arms? Listen, buddy. I love you so much. My favorite game series of all time. But your translation is terrible. I was surprised. I don't really take all that much damage anymore. Really don't take all that much damage anymore. At the leprechaun's face? Actually, wait. Leprechaun. That sounds familiar. Leprechaun. Yeah, they're not supposed to be here. And you only encounter them during a surprise encounter. They're weak against every element except for electricity. They also only have 2200 HP, so they're going to die really fast. Mercurius, um, also surprise encounter only. They're weak against electricity, even though they use electricity. Okay. Sort the Maelstrom. Oh, that hits everyone. Whoops. Thor ring. Not boring, but Thor ring. That wire fist. You're going to see a lot of that during random encounters because it's my most efficient attack. You two are probably very dead. Oh, yeah. 
I am nearly hitting 10,000 already. Cool. Oh, um, let's see. So yeah, I haven't really wanted to record any of these videos for a while. And there's something wrong with that. Um, just the four middle. Yep, just the four middle. Got it. As in not corners, the sides. Gotta use that last tool somehow. Yeah, this is the problem. So the reason why I had to do that, because I can't hit the sides otherwise. I see. So I'm doing this, so that way I can activate it while standing on the rising block and can actually get out. Like so. Rumble. Just crumbled. Um, let's see. What else has been going on gaming-wise? Oh, I've been fiddling around with the audio settings, so even though my controller is right next to the microphone, you should not be hearing the controller at all. Pressure. Sorry. It's a powerful pressure. Here it comes. Gotta remember my voices. So it just must not have gone this far. I do remember I turned around and came back. Oh, it would have been when I grabbed the flare gun. That makes sense. Uh, saucer organism Grodin. So what is Grodin like? Grodin. It is weak against electricity. Pickpocket a full revive from it. Otherwise, it's fairly unimpressive. Sheriff Star and Luka. I want a Necronomicon on Luka instead. I only have one Necronomicon. Okay. Sheriff Star. Okay. And in the claw. Ooh, the claw drops an ambrosia, and I can pickpocket a tiny flower from it. Terrible idea. But I'm first going to use a lucky card. Sorry, the microphone's right in the way where, like, where you're seeing on the screen where Ambrosia and Lucky Card are listed, the gap between the word and the number of Ambrosia is right at the top of the microphone, so I to kind of peek around. But we'll lucky card. Do I want to steal that claw? Claw. Yeah, I want to steal from the claw. Pickpocket claw. You're going to use a lucky card. Loka, you're going to... I don't know 
if this is going to use... And we'll just type weapon. It'll be fine. Gimme. Oh. Lucky card. Alright, we've got our XP. Giant scissors! This is our first boss battle ever since leveling up, and it dealt 236 to the wizard. But yeah, that's right. Was I going to use Luka, or was I going to use Tim? I've already forgotten. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need Four Ring for now. I'll put Force Unit for the time being. Get up Cannon's Force levels quite a bit higher. This cannon's going to be pickpocketing for a while. Nice. Uh, status lock? Cannon. Luka. Uh -huh. Um. Um. Rise and shine. Yeah. Yeah. Rise and sign yourself. I'm intentionally not looking at bosses anymore. It's not worth it. Really? I have best luck. Come on. Got a slot cannon. Bubble cluster. Bubble. You're not even doing a thousand damage. Seriously? Am I that over leveled? Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, um, the way I have things covered up, I can't see how long the video recording is. I should make sure that that is visible on bottom in 22 minutes. This might be a long recording because I might just go at to the end. We'll find out when I get closer to an hour. Effect healing at this point. Apparently not. I mean, I can always miss it. Not that big of a deal. That'll work. There we go. Got the tiny flower. Goal achieved. Now it's time for murder. Giant scissors. Oh no! 700 whole damage! Whatever shall we do? I don't need to throw a ring yet because the, um, the claw is the thing that, or the main unit's the thing that's, um, strong, not the claw. Failings? No. Yeah, failings claw. Miracle. Can you please absorb? Yes, I am not going to do randomize. I don't want to hit it with water. Check to see how much damage your normal mode does. I'm assuming that things survive. I just one shotted the boss. Whoops. I actually one shotted both forms. I'm a little overpowered. Seriously, one shot at the boss with one of the worst characters in the game. Ooh, a safe one. I think this is normally where I stop. There is a safe point down in Baba de Gable, which is where we're going. But I think this is the second to last safe point in the game. 
how appropriate. We're actually going to end with a completely maxed out memory card. Remember, I do back up the memory cards. Um, speaking of, is there a place I should put all of these saves at? I'm not sure. Is this up or down? Okay, this is the correct way. Oh, and while we're at it, I just well. Any flowers? Okay, I have two stolen keys, I forgot. Any flowers? Oh, I have a bunch of apples. Why am I holding on to them? Wait. Rain. Sorcery. Vitality. Spawn. There's the tiny flowers. So, um, a viewer pointed out that the reason why the luck keeps changing on me without me realizing it is that luck will re-randomize on level up, and I didn't realize that. Yep, in this case, at those gates, I have a random encounter that I have to deal with. The random encounter is a Clottle. Clottles are weak against Earth. They only have 4,200 hit points. They drop a Mega Berry, and I can pickpocket a Heal Berry. Well, okay. I really need the Force Unit, now do I? But they're weak against Earth. I don't even think it's going to survive Cannon's turn. No. No, it's not. Ah. So yeah, this area kind of feels like filler to me, personally. Okay, there's a chest up there. I know what's in that. Oh, I know how I have to do this. Okay. Go ahead and save. Go down here. You another quaddle? Or is it just a random encounter? It's a random encounter. Baylors and Elbuckies. Elbuckies are weak against nothing, but they have an ability I need to steal. Got it. And Baylor's weak against darkness, so. Honestly, I think her normal attack's probably strong enough at this point, but. Okay. Field Drain, El Bucky. I mean, needs a strong word, don't get me wrong. But I do plan on actually analyzing um, magic at some later point. It may not even be this month, it may not even be this year. But nobody's really ever done an analysis of magic in Wild Arms 2, as far as I can tell. Which is obnoxious. Also, I forgot I don't have a darkness attack on Ilka. Outside of doing this, of course. Too much equipment. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Now we just need to drain the old Bucky. There we go. The defense down ability. It's this ability. That's actually useful to have if it weren't for the fact that I'm horrifically overpowered. It has 700 points. I'm not concerned about it. Like I said, this is basically filler at this point. Just like this. Oh, that's right. I remember how I have to do this now. Memories, they are returning. So I have to exit, re-enter. Then I can do this because I have to walk across the top of that first gate. Bunks. Big ones. 
And this is Folibra? No, this is an Ambrosia. Folibra must be later. So full Libra is that ability that I was supposed to have for um, the optional bosses. You won't even damage me. Oh, well, you can cause confusion. So, I mean, there's that. Oh, the Leprechaun's weak against again. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're so weak it doesn't matter, but... Leprechaun's weak against everything but electricity. Got it. How about some water? Holy oh, crap, Loka can actually damage cannon? Huh. The more you know. Also, I'm doing over 10,000 damage to normal enemies. Like I said, this game does not have a 9999 system. It actually goes above it. Look, is already no longer confused. Eh. Okay. At least. Already forgotten how to activate these things. Okay. One moment. Let me actually look this up, because I don't feel like wasting a huge amount of time today. Too long, I haven't prepped anything. going loopy again, because I really don't want to... I mean, I'm still not in the mood for playing this for reference. But... No. I want to finish this up, because I do... I'm actually in the mood to play Vandal Hearts. More like I want to introduce people to Vandal Hearts. It's a fun game. And it's a shame that not as many people know about it as what they do. We're dead. Armageddon, which is going to do over 10k damage. Yep. So, um, at this point, I 
think Marivelle might actually be stronger than Loka. You're gone. This. I remember, right? And you have Sunflare. Sunflares are strong against all sorts of elements. Oh. Shame. Real shame. gonna compare on damage. So first off, let's get rid of this thing. You were very dead. I, I dealt over 10,000 with maximum hit points. So high break against you. Does 11, uh, 14,000. Okay, so yeah. Luka's still stronger, but the sorcery's better. Terra break does 11,000, but of course, Terra break is a large area of effect, where it hits everything. Yeah, I need to do an analysis at some point, but I'm going to wait on that. So, one thing that you will notice is that I could just miscloak my way across. I don't have to do any of that puzzle. Now, I don't know if that was intentional or if they just really screwed up the puzzle design of that room. But I was trying to remember because I remember there was something weird about the room. Because this room also encourages you to do something similar. Rosia. Hmm. Ooh, whole sun flares. Miracle, do you have a non-elemental attack at that high power? Yes, you do. Screw it. Let's see how well it works. We're very dead. Megaton. Works decently well. Prepared for a lot of these. Don't exactly have much of a choice. What are you? Apple sag? I recognize you actually. You're a lower level enemy, actually. Weird. You're weak against fire. Big pocket big berries, but I don't need any of those. Drop war respites. Means you probably do a lot of status effects. And you actually divide from a different lower level creature? What? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Whatever, game. You're weak against fire. Why do I even have characters other than Marivel at this point? Wait. You're weak against fire. Oh, it's freeze. Whoops. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. That still killed it. Even though it wasn't the weakness. Ah, uh, I am so overpowered. Let's use the correct one this time. It's absolute zero, right? That probably plays hell on YouTube. I'm coding. About 11k. Ashley leveled up. I don't care. Doo -doo 
do 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 I'm thinking about for tomorrow's Vita to do a video on, so I need to clean out, well, need is a strong word. I want to clean out my computer. Uh, how am I going to get past that one? I may have done goofed. Oops. Did not mean to fall. Huh. Over there. Oh, derp. I know how to do it. I'm gonna have to go back. I'm sure somebody is screaming at me about this already. Honestly. her luck's changed. Marvel. Luck is best, okay. So yeah, what I done goofed, but I don't need to go through those at all. I forgot that they happen to be the correct width across to do that. So dumb. So dumb. But I am. Well, actually, I'm going to enter. Do that. That way, if I fall like that, I reappear right here. So I don't have to go through all of that again. I'm going to get my dang crutch chest. I know I could have just booked it, but tools available. All that for a freaking Mega Berry. Where's my dang Libra that I'm not going to end up using anyway? Alright. Maze time. Oh. Like, hello there. That go through this one because there's a treasure chest here. Megaton! 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 I never realized how good Marigold actually was, by the way. Mega Berry. Anything else here? Like that's a no. So there's four down that passage. One, two, three, four, five down the next one. Three down there. I believe there's three here. need a third character. In fact, honestly, I bet I could probably beat the game with just Marigold at this point.
Yeah, this passage only has three doors, the other ones have four or five. Darkness, get in. You know what? Heal cannon. Or oh, it's Marivel that needs healing. Oh well, doesn't matter. Yes, nice crit, Marivel. I know, we don't really need you here. You're actually not a very good character, but you know. Why am I using that? <sighs> Enemies don't get turns anymore. I mean heck, that boss I could have actually one-shotted the boss from the very start and I didn't realize it. That's just ridiculous. What is with this group? I'm not that high level. Seriously, the recommended level for this dungeon is 57. That's my party level average. Or 55, not 57, right? So the next dungeon's supposed to be 57. You're supposed to reach endgame at about 60. Easy missile acquired. Powerful missile will launch an attack on all the enemies. So late in the game for that. So useless. All right, what fresh hell do I have this time? As long as the yellow doesn't absorb, it's fine. It's just a maze. Oh. Maze meant to waste my time. Make a ton enough to just kill everything now. It's definitely enough to kill that thing. I know that. Yes. Yes, it is. Get it leveled up. just move this ability to the top. I'm going to use it constantly. I'll do that after this combat. We're at 48 minutes, and I have not reached the end of this area. I think this is going to end up being two videos. I don't want to go for a two hour long one. I thought there was less of the spiral tower than there really is. about these anymore. Uh, I get time. There. Yep. 
I did. Yeah, apparently this is gonna be the second last video. This gives me another video to use instead of a vlog, but eh. Seriously, I don't even need anyone but Marival for any of this section. The only reason why Cannon is injured is because she leveled up. Oh, you again. We even survive this. Or are we against it? Yes, you do. Okay, that's good. You should. You aren't gonna survive that, but you know. That's near the hand over there. I need to walk around. This is the reason why I needed to not blow up as many things. That's why this maze is obnoxious, and I looked it up rather than trying to remember how to do it. I remembered about this maze existing. I don't like my tablet, you just have a notification. Because if you go the wrong route through the maze, you have to restart it rather than just moving back. That's just a time waster. Why are you doing that game? Seriously. Come on. I think this is the end. Yeah, this is the end. Back attack? Oh, noes. Yeah, I cannot change places. But a mysterious power halts machine moves. What were they weak against again? Mercurius? Wasn't that electricity? We're not using Latin anymore, we're using Plasma Tap. The problem is that they're still dead. My back party is not that weak. I don't have them equipped with anything, maybe I should. You know what, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's equip the rear. Guardian is going to be Zephyr. Your Guardian is going to be Chapanga. Your Guardian is going to be something that punches people. Pretty sure it's going to be her. That'll work. Also, in theory, that should stop all those stupid surprise attacks. Like I said... Lots and lots of filler. Okay. Which one of these doors? Okay. Eastern wall, break the second from the door. Eastern wall. Oh, nope. That's got rotated. Eastern wall. Back in from the north. This one. I should probably heal cannon at some point. I mean, I don't need to. I just feel like I should. Yep, so this gives me Electro. Remember, he's technically not a required member of the party.
too high up. There we go. Bonk. Gotta show off that animation. Rising Nova acquired! The Rising Nova is a bayonet cartridge for use by Ashley. Using this item will add new ammunition to the bayonet. A lethal attack combining shooting and cutting is delivered to a single enemy. It's Ashley's final ability. Not good. In my mind. But, you know, it's there. We're not going to bother leveling it up. We'll do that for an analyze. Uh, let the analyze. At some point. Maybe. Almost an hour and I haven't even gotten through stupid spiral tower of stupidity. Oh well. So yeah, I think I will stop. Oh, we're actually at the end. Get this far and still have people get in my There's no people there. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. There's just a boss. Is terrible guardian monster Manifestu. Manifestu isn't the one who gets manifested. Okay. So, the real problem with this enemy is the fact that it has instant death attacks. Right knee and left knee. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything that I care about? Uh, you have a lot of XP. I can pickpocket a mini carrot. You're not weak against anything. Okay. Uh, your left and right knees absorb dark and earth, respectively. Fire and lightning are also bad. Got it. Going to equip power boost. Get the more strength on. To blow out that knee. Um, I need to prevent instant death. What were my ways of doing that? Wait, wait. I think it's gonna have to be Loka. With Mystic. Or save state here and find out. Let's just try to do this without worrying too much about things. Um, this wasn't one of the ones that they're weak to or strong against. Go for the higher level ones. That. Luca. That was healing, wasn't it? Wild arms. Oh, nope. That is Thanatos X. Sweet. That's what I wanted. No inst more instant death for you. Also, absolute zero. Pretty sure I just took out any. <laughs> and you punch four is zero. And yes, I did take out an E. This is ridiculous. Just want to state that for the record. This is patently absurd.
You know what? I don't know. You actually have a sharp star, but never mind. Take out the other knee. Attack. Why not? And... Hmm... Honestly, auto-combating cannon's not the worst idea. Hip weapon cannon, why not? Cannon needs it. Bonk. Oh, that actually healed. Unmodified spell, oh no! I think that's the instant death ability. Yep. Def down. Cape down. That's what I would like to use. Mystic, mini carrot. Let's go. And the boss is dead from melee packs. Melee. I didn't use lucky carrot. Let's just do that again. I'm curious. Does Megaton do the same amount of damage or more? You're going to Mystic. Trail. Just so the instant death doesn't, you know, kill me. Sounds like a good idea to me. Megaton! Megaton! Oh no, blast! It's a weak non-elemental spell. Take out the knee. Yeah. You are actually going to use the lucky card. I won't kill it by taking out its other knee. I'm gonna make a ton off. A modified spell, which will do next to nothing in damage. Why not? Oh, right, because I want to heal. Yeah, I don't care. Silly. Sleep. But you're gonna be very dead from the gat level four anyway. Relevant. You probably have like a thousand hit points left. Here, take ten thousand non-elemental melee damage. There we go. Now I've properly killed the boss. Huh? This is strange. What could this feeling be? Like I'm near a guardian. And here we are. Wait a minute. What in the world is this? Like an ocean, but something's different. I have no control, by the way. Blue mud seems to be one guardian. How can you tell? Feeling it. Waveland similar to other Guardian. Once heard something about a blue sea of mud deep under the bowels of the earth. That was the origin of everything, the Guardian of Mud. 
Glave Legable. Or Glave Legable, as I keep saying it. I know it's supposed to be Glave, but I don't know why. My brain just goes Glave. Origin of everything. Oh, the Kyber Belt's been eaten. The Guardian, the so-called source of life, even advancing on Filgaia. Let's go, everyone! Welcome to the very definite final dungeon of Wild Arms 2. It's a sea of mud. I don't remember this cutscene at all. And you'll also notice that um, Marinville didn't have anything to say in the cutscene. That's because she's a 100% optional character. So you might know, not know. Also, I thought I would have already gotten an item. I'm just gonna check through the doorway really fast because I think there's a save point right here. No. Where is the save point? Let me just double check really fast to see if it's close. Nope, save points are right at the end. So we're going to actually save state this here. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Oh, and if you haven't already, please have a good kitten. Bye!